welcome back guys so this is question number 38 of section 2.8 in which we have to convert each binary number to the hexadecimal number okay so in previous uh, question we have seen that how to convert a hexadecimal number to its binary equivalent so today we will see that how to convert a binary number to the hexadecimal number okay so we are again going to use the same table which we have previously used okay so here all the binary codes are written their decimal equivalent is also written here in the leftmost column okay and the equivalent hexadecimal numbers are also mentioned here in the rightmost column so uh, let me start it from part a so here we have these uh, all ones so this is basically a four bit number so from this table we can see that in binary this all ones is equal to f so therefore the hex equivalent of it is f and that is in 6 while this was a binary number okay so that is the answer of part 1 for uh, part b we have 1 0 double 1 okay so in this table we can see that 1 0 double 1 is how much that is b so b is b 16 okay so that is the answer of part b for part c we can see that here we have 1 1 one two three four five five ones okay so one two three four five we have five bits here so what we have to do in this situation what we have to do we have to combine the four bits in each of the number and we will start from the lsb here we can see that it is the lsb while the left most bit will be the msb which is which stands for the most significant bit okay so we can see that here we have these four bits and these are now mentioned here so one 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 this is the f but what about this one this is one so we don't have anything here so therefore we ourselves should have to put zeros here so after putting it we will see that it will become a four bit number so now this four bit number will give me a number which is the triple zero one so that is equal to one here okay so that would be the one f in the hexadecimal number so that is the answer of part c so in part d we can see that here we have um, how many bits so here these four okay and the last four because this is an eight bit number so we can see that one zero one zero is how much that is one zero one zero so that is a okay similarly this is also one zero one zero so this is also a so that is a a 16 that's it that is the hexadecimal equivalent of part d similarly in part e of my question we will start to do it from here again so that is a four bit number again this is a four bit number because in total this is the multiple of four because in total number of bits here are eight so therefore double one double zero is here equivalent to c okay so we can see that double one double zero is c okay and one zero one zero is how much that is a so that is the hexadecimal equivalent of ac and this is the answer while this one is here the last one here is this one so let me start here so this is now this one and the last one here is here so now one zero double one is how much so one zero double one this one okay one zero double one is b this is b and one zero double one again b okay so that is the hexadecimal equivalent of it okay so that's it for today in which we have seen that how easy it is to convert any binary number to the hexadecimal number if we have this table okay so uh, here in this table we have seen the benefits of converting any binary number to the hexadecimal similarly any decimal number to the hexadecimal number as well okay so that's it for today uh, in which we have seen the benefits of it and uh, in our upcoming video we will see some more questions until then take care of yourself